My word for 2021, my one word to summarize 2021, is gratitude. My one word for 2022 is momentum. This has been a historic year for our college and for our university. It's been a time of great challenge, but also a time of great opportunity to meet those challenges uh, during the pandemic. We are so gratified that everyone in the community really rallied together to find creative solutions that allow us to not only survive, but thrive during this challenging time. During the year 2017, we undertook a major study to analyze and assess the facilities of the College of Music, the seven buildings in which we do our work, to find out what spaces were working well and what spaces needed help. And as a consequence of that, the university has invested and private benefactors have invested in a beginning a renovation project, particularly in our music building. So we renovated what is now the Specs Charitable Foundation Courtyard making it not only a lovely and gracious gathering space, but also pivots very well as a performance and presentation space that serves our college magnificently. We've renovated our choral room so that it now serves not only as a place for rehearsals and instruction, but also a place that doubles as a recital space supported by webcasting technologies. Our recital hall, which was really challenged in terms of its acoustic performance. And now those challenges have been remedied and at the same time beautified and supported by amazing instructional technology. And finally, the Merrill Ellis Intermedia Theater, a historic space for electroacoustic music, which now serves not only those kinds of musical projects, but also music for film, music for television, music for video games, and other kinds of applications, being able to present that music there and also to be able to do acoustic performance as well. We're very excited to announce that we'll be renovating what is called Lab West, a room where so much of the work of our famous jazz lab bands, the one o'clock lab band, the two o'clock lab band, and so forth, rehearse and perform. It is a tired space that is about to be renovated in a magnificent way that will improve its performance as a place to rehearse, a place to present, and a place to webcast. As we were beginning to scatter in the middle of March 2020, for some of our students, they didn't have the musical instruments that they practice on readily available to them. So we were able to identify and secure in seven days a number of digital pianos, 88 weighted keys that feel like a normal instrument that we could check out to students and they could take home to their apartment or room and be able to then take instruction remotely. This was a remarkable partnership with a commercial vendor as well as with our own institution and with our faculty who pivoted to be able to figure out how to do this in a really uh, impactful way so that not one student missed a lesson. The university was remarkably successful in securing our portion of federal stimulus funds that were devoted to helping students to meet the challenges of this time in terms of their financial needs and distributed millions and millions of dollars to help students with tuition, expenses, loan forgiveness, et cetera. It's really been heartwarming and remarkable how impactful those investments have been. We are thrilled to be celebrating the 75th anniversary of Jazz Studies at the University of North Texas. The University of North Texas was the very first institution in the world to provide degrees in Jazz Studies here at a time when that was not fully uncommon. But it was kind of a questionable decision, uh, quite honestly. And today we are a storied program. Our one o'clock lab band has secured not fewer than seven Grammy nominations. It is a consequential program that gets invited around the world to perform and record collaborates with some of the very finest jazz musicians in the world. And for us to take this moment to pause and celebrate that history and imagine what an extraordinary future awaits us is thrilling and satisfying and so uh, unbelievably gratifying. We are excited about some of the new ways that our music program is evolving to serve our diverse musical culture with excellence, integrity, and imagination. That is our mission statement. 
And so that's showing up in consequential ways. For example, we now are offering a degree in music electronics, where students come here and their major instrument is music electronics, computers and related devices, on which they audition, on which they perform, by which they create, and by which they represent their musical selves beyond this college. We are thrilled about that opportunity and the quick growth of that program has just been astonishing for us. We're really excited about that. We have a brand new program that we'll be launching this coming fall, which is a Bachelor of Arts degree in Critical Studies in Music and Society. And this is a very atypical Bachelor of Arts degree. You don't have to audition to get into this program. Rather, it is an academic degree and it predicts a kind of pathway for students who complete this degree as they then go out into society, perhaps as music journalists, as music videographers, as attorneys who represent musicians, as physicians who support musicians' wellness and uh, health. So it is a really exciting, innovative program created by our faculty. We're so excited about what this represents as a new cohort of students with a very different kind of musical ambition grace our college. To talk about what this place means for me as Dean of the College of Music at the University of North Texas in the last five years um, is such a challenging thing to do justice to in a short amount of time. One of the great challenges any Dean has in coming to this place is accepting a charge to make it better, understanding what an amazing and consequential place it already is. It's a sobering responsibility. What does better look like? How do we make such an amazing and remarkable place uh, even better? What I discovered is that I was surrounded by a deep faculty and staff of experts who were fully on board to accept that challenge and find new ways to do just that. It's a thrill to know that in the days ahead, as we emerge from the challenges of the pandemic, we can accept new challenges, all of which center on one word, better.